Hello people, this is me Thoughts of 2797 for YouTube. Today I'm gonna show you how to make a smoky background with a logo in it and the swirl around it. What you wanna first one you wanna do is right click on your screen, check go to screen resolution, check your resolution, mine is 1366 into 768. You 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 should choose yours, it varies depending on the monitor you have. Close it, now open Photoshop, click on the file, new, name it. Set preset to custom, change the width to 1366 pixels, height to 768 pixels, resolution to 72 pixels per inch, color mode to RGB color, 8 bit, and background content to white. Now press OK. Now we get a blur, white empty screen. What you're gonna do is click on this, change the foreground color to black. How we're gonna do is just click the small box, you get a black foreground. Now what you're gonna do is check. Go to the paint bucket tool, click on the empty screen. Now you get a black image. That's fine, don't worry. Now, what you're gonna do is click on new layer, layer one you get. Now, what you're gonna do is go to your brush tool, change the size. Now it's 940. Change it to 940 if you don't have. Now, check the small preset box, this one, yeah. Click that, yeah, done. Now, check this. Now, I want a blue shade, this blue, yeah. Yeah, small clicks. I'm changing the size to 940 so that you don't need to click lots. Uh, now we got this. I'll just leave a bit black in between. And what you have to do is click on new layer, click on this, change the foreground color to black. It changes the default foreground and background colors. Now, what you have to do is click on filter, render, clouds. You have some dirty clouds in them, don't worry, it's normal. Now, what you're gonna do is click on layer 2, the cloud box, click on this normal box, and click on divide. Now, I give this hazy kind of awesome style. Now, click on opacity. If it's not a bit opaque, it looks ugly kind of. Now, this is your background. Now, minimize it, bring in your logo, my logo.png. Sorry. This is the logo PNG. Now click on shift and reduce the size. If you don't click shift, it's gonna become like this. It won't maintain its aspect ratio. So click on shift, make this much. Yeah. Oop. It's done. Click on the checkbox. Now create a new layer. Bring in the pen tool. Before bringing in the pen tool, click on brush tool. Go to this brush option, brush presets. Go to brush, make sure you have checked shape dyna dynamics, checked, smoothing checked, perfect protect texture checked. Now push it in. Now change the size into 15 ish kind of and change the hardness into 100. Yeah, that's it. Now click on pen tool. Once click once here. Yeah. Before clicking, make sure you have checked this pen tool and the path tool. Now Okay. Press this here, yeah. Drag it. You get a swallow. Nobody, it's correct. Now, once like this. Now let's take this thing out. Now click here. You get a nice like this. Now click here. You get swirl like this. Now push it in. Like this. Yep. Now click on this and change the foreground color to white. Okay, click on the small tiny square boxes with the pen tool pushed in. Now click on stroke path. Then numerous options available. Click on brush tool. Click on simulate pressure. Press OK. Now you get this line. Click on black space. Once again, now you get this hazy shape. Now you, you can see here, this is like a 3D effect, like going back, around, coming out, kind of. Now click on Photoshop. Go to erase tool. Click on erase tool. Now right click change the size to 25 pixels kind of. Now yep. Now remove this. Like this. It's quite a tedious job but takes once it's done. But you should be make sure you are in lane, layer 3. The pen layer. Or else you rub the behind backgrounds. Understand? Yeah. Now let, we'll rem let it remain like this. And now again drop from here so that we get a 3D kind of effect. See this? Yep. 
not down now it looks like a 3d but make sure you don't cover your name so it won't look nice now let's do like this yeah so they get some more 3d effect it looks like this now it looks nice click on this now tada it's done thanks for watching before saying thanks sorry click on save as change it to jpeg and whatever name you want such as i want a3 save it quality should be high or maximum whatever and press ok yep saved here a3 see this now you can save it in the background because it's sequel now this is mine thanks for watching this is winnie 3d for hotshot 279 2797 and technology blog thanks for watching